remember right around the year 20, 2012, I would go out and I would minister. Chandler was just talking about it. I would minister to people and I would watch them be healed, set free, and delivered. And I would go home for days in the dark, under the covers with the curtains closed. I was plagued by depression and rejection. And the main thing the enemy would try to tell me is that I was alone. He would say, yeah, 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 you do all of that. And if you were to die today, they would find another Tasha. Let me tell you something. This is the testimony. I remember being in that dark room. I remember the curtains closed. It was so dark that my roommate, who was my cousin at the time, she came and she told me, Tasha, I can't take it. I got to move out. She left and went to one of our family members' house. Dark place. I was in that dark room crying in my bed. And the Lord came to me. He said, Tasha, get up and wash your face. It's never alone, no, never alone, no. I got up. He said, for one thing, he said, you've been calling it the wrong thing. You're walking around saying you're depressed. This is rejection. Depression is a branch off of the root of rejection. So you've been cutting off branches, but tonight we're going to get to the root. He said, this is what I want you to say every single day. I want you to look yourself in the mirror and you say, I curse the spirit of rejection. And I receive the spirit of adoption. And every single day I walked out my deliverance. 